Hello and welcome to the Susie Makes Craft channel and part 5 of how to make your own rainbow cat plumpkin and today's video is all about how to make the eye cord tail which I'll show you on this uh, original one uh, which is this tail now it's an eye cord and I'm going to show you how to make that now so we'll just say goodbye to him put him to one side and this is the one we're making and as you can see yes the hands and feet have been refashioned slightly uh, to give it that more uh, fun plump look and I'm going to put him to one side while I show you how to make the eye cord tail now you will need two size three millimeter DPNs now DPN stands for double pointed needle for those who, of you who don't know and you need two of those and the reason for that will become clear in a moment ordinary knitting needles um, don't do the job I'm afraid for an eye cord now as you can see I've started making one here so all I want you to do is to cast on four stitches on one of your DPNs and um, feel free to note down this pattern as you go under copyright law it isn't uh, it isn't possible to um, reproduce it and sell the pattern but you can make and sell as many um, plumpkins as you like for either charity or your own profit it's entirely up to you but for your own purposes you are welcome to note this down so cast on four stitches and knit four stitches One, this is just the knit stitch you need to know for this. Two, three, four. Now, don't turn your work around as you normally would in knitting. What you do is push it to the other end of your needle and then you knit another four stitches, pulling the yarn quite firmly as you go. I'll just show you the reason for that. So we just knit another four stitches. We don't turn our work, but push it to the other end of the needle. And the reason that we do it this way is because we are making this tubular piece of knitting, which is the cat's tail. Uh, so it's like a rounded, slightly flattened, um, tubular piece of knitting a lovely way of making um, long pieces that you might need uh, in this instance for the toy we're knitting I actually once I made a Halloween cat um, a couple of years back and I made a big dark orange long eye cord and then just shaped it onto the cat's tummy to look like um, round and round in a spiral to look like a plumpkin the tip of it I knitted green which was the plumpkins uh, which was a pumpkin stalk so that is why you don't turn your work you just push your work to the other end of your double pointed needle or DPN and you knit another four stitches So push to the end and you keep doing that until your tail is as long as you want it. Now the last four rows I would say knit in the normal way. So the front row is knit, one. And the reason you pull your um, yarn tight at the beginning of each row is so that your tubular shape stays nice and tight both sides. You see it doesn't look baggy at all on the back. But the last four rows you then knit in the normal and purl in the normal way. So you turn your work around and purl four stitches. So once your tail is as long as you want it to be, and that's entirely up to you, just keep, keep holding it on the back of your cat until you're satisfied. And then two more rows like that. So knit. 
So the last four rows are just knit one row, purl one row, knit one row, purl one row. And the reason for that is because it makes it nice, a nice flat piece to sew against the body of your cat. And that flat piece sort of butts up onto the um, toy quite nicely and just looks as though it fits better. So you snip your yarn when you've done those last four rows. Actually, it would have been a good idea if I'd cast off. Oh well, this is live channel, I suppose. Cast off your four stitches after you have knit and purl the last four rows. Or stock and stitch the last four rows, I should say. Luckily, I don't need this tail for anything, so I'm able to um, just use that bit of tail there that I snipped off. Put your needles to one side, bring your tail through the last loop and pull. There. So open up that last back piece that you have stock in stitch. So you see you've got a nice flat piece there. Turn your cat over and make sure you're happy with the position of it. It's, uh, probably want to see it a little bit and let's get a glass head pin and just pin it in place there quite happy with that now really I should have left a longer tail where's my needle gone uh, I'm going to put it away. Let's have a look. Oh, has the cat knocked it off the table? Naughty cat, naughty kitty. Yeah, it's not in my pin tin. Um, so I wonder where that has gone. Never mind. Anyway, you get the general idea. You would now thread your darning needle and sew a few stitches around that flat piece nice and neatly to secure your cat's tail in place. And then you would thread up the other end of your cat's tail. Oh, here's the needle, I got it. Phew! So let's do that then. Now what I'm going to try and catch my stitches slightly under the tail so it looks stays nice and neat on the back. Take your pin out when you have secured it. Now I know this looks quite like messy stitching but where I'm hiding it under the stitches it doesn't show at all and it makes it nice and secure and less chance of unravelling quite honestly. So there we have the tail in place. I'm just going to thread up the other end, the tail on the other end of the tail. <laughs> it gets a bit confusing. And I'm going to run this through the middle of the tail so it doesn't show both sides. It's so you know that you've got it going through the middle. and come out about an inch and a half to two inches up, pull 
and snip. There, and that, in a nutshell, is how you make an eye cord, but in particular, an eye cord kitty tail. There. Now the sixth and final part of how to make a rainbow plumpkin will be the face. Now I, the reason I leave the face till last, I actually think it is the most important part of your plumpkin and can make or break a toy. Now, um, so I'll show you my little tip on how to make the best possible face you can, not only for your rainbow cat plumpkin, but for many toys that you make. So thank you for joining me today and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.